Oh, she starts great. singing. So, yeah. yeah, she's. Oh my gosh, it's so funny. Uh, she's in Talladega Nights too. She's yeah. really good at that. She'll too. just sing out of nowhere too. She's got this awesome weird voice, but. <laughs> Um, and then, like, you know, Paul Rudd's in it. Uh, yeah. McLovin's first movie since Superbad. Love McLovin. Awesome. Yeah, and uh, Elizabeth Banks, who's got, like, a thousand movies coming out this summer or this, this fall. But, um, and, uh, you know, like, a lot of the familiar faces from the Judd Apatow films. So I'm kind of like, you know, the guy hasn't been in any of those movies. And, but it's real. And David Wayne, who I like a lot, he directed One Hot American Summer, The Ten. He's got a, lot, a bunch of really cool uh, internet TV shows called Wayne Days and stuff. He's really, really interesting. But it's... It's a hard R. It's really, really funny. Even my, there's a scene oh, at the end. Wow. I love. And I, 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 so it's R, but it's it shouldn't be. It should be further down. No. Oh, it's, no, it's well, R. kind of. I mean, there's a lot of nudity, and it's 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 pretty crass. We're in. It's like it's like an R, good, a good R, like when we were kids, like a Porky's R. Yeah, I think so. I yeah, think yeah, yeah but also it. kind of like our language too. Like it's, it's, it's pretty well, people current, are yeah. comparing it to forgetting. I've had three different people tell me it's better than forgetting Sarah Marshall. Oh, really? I haven't seen that movie. Oh, that's a hard that's R. That's a great movie. movie. Yeah, I know. I heard it's great. You know, it's I, a great movie. it is. You know what? I I think it's the best movie I've done. But it's um, what's it about? It's it's kind of a generic plot line, but like it's basically uh, Paul and I working at this energy drink company. And uh, I love my job. All I do is dress up like a minotaur and just like dance around. I work like three days a week, <laughs> no, a and minotaur? I used to go. Yeah, I just like a bowl, you know, a half that man. Sounds bowl. like a great job. Yeah, he doesn't do anything. And, Paul, I'm, and I like my job because all I want to do is hook up with girls and just party. And Paul's angry at the world because he thinks, you know, he wishes he was, was like doctor or something like that. He clearly didn't want to be working at an energy drink company. Uh, his girlfriend breaks up with him. And he freaks out. He's all jacked up on energy drinks. And he, like, crashes the Minotaur mobile into this statue. So we basically have to go do community service or go to jail. We, we choose community service. We, we become kind of like big brothers. And we realize it was probably way better to go to jail. <laughs> like, and we get, I get this kid, Bobby J. Thompson, who's hilarious. Um, and, uh, and he's, like, worse potty mouth than, uh, than I am. And, and uh, Paul Rudd gets uh, McLovin. Oh. And it's just a really crazy comedy. You know, it's it's a pretty simple storyline. These guys grow up, you know, but at the end of the day, it's really just about, you know, it's just about laughing. And, and well, it's in theaters November 7th. Yeah. Um, hey, I'm just curious, uh, you know, how life imitates art, kind of like, uh, you know, I'm a big fan of Nip Tuck. I've never right? seen that show. I heard it's Ooh, awesome. it's disturbing. So, yeah. it's, but but this, uh, I remember the actors, I was watching them on interview one time, they're like, yeah, so many people think we're plastic surgeons, you know, they come <laughs> up and they ask us stuff about, hey, do you think I should get a job? <laughs> do you face I was wondering that, you know, your role as Stifler and the whole Stifler's mom yeah. thing, you know, yeah. with the mom totally hit, hitting up on the kid and having the affair. Have you ever had anything like that happen to you where, like, a mom came up to you and go, hey, man, everyone's sleeping with your mom? <laughs> <laughs> I wish, dude. That'd be Come awesome. On, you tell me you haven't had chicks. I, I actually because get moms mom. coming up to me. No, not because of that. I, well, maybe. Like, I, a little bit. I think that they think they're like, wow, that's a crazy guy. He'll do anything in yeah. the bedroom. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, yeah. and where I live, I live in, when I, in Los Angeles, live, like, in the middle of nowhere. So, like, you can see that there's a lot of, like, wives that are angry. They, like, they, they've married, like, wealthy guys. And so I'm, like, that gardener. I'm, like, kind of, like, that desperate housewives, like, guy. It's, like, I, like <laughs> they, they, they see me. Yeah, yeah. They're, like, oh, yeah. They want to yeah. do that yeah. thing. Yeah. Yeah. So, they're, like, he's so, the weird guy. He'll do any sexual weird thing. And I'm, like, I don't, I'd be up for it if I wasn't, yeah. like, fearful of their husbands. Yeah, no kidding. No, but I, I, I guess, but sometimes it's weird. Is like, you know, I live in New York as well a little bit. And I do hear, like, like construction guys are, like, stuff for his mom. And I'm, like, what? I, I, what do you mean Stifler's mom? I didn't play Stifler's mom. Like, it doesn't, it doesn't make any sense. Right? Yeah, like, like you